I'd been working from landscape for about uh, 10 years before there was this eureka moment and I thought, yes, water is my subject. What interested me in the land was the movement. More and more there was this calligraphic line of movement going across the surface of the paintings, the surface of, of the land. And about that time I went to an aquarium and I, I saw some koi carp in a pond with a small waterfall and it was indoors so there was lighting up in the ceiling and I took a few photographs and when I got back home I developed the photos and had these incredible images where you had a web of light across the surface, the reflection of what was above, glimpses of uh, what was happening below and then the refraction, the fragmentation the mixtures, the blending of the fish as they swam in the water or came up through the surface. And so there's multiple layers of reality and yet when you say reality perhaps it, it wasn't real, you think the fish is there, no it's somewhere else. There's the perception, there's what you see, what you don't see, what you can imagine and it's very very rich as a subject matter and so I've been exploring it ever since. In the Continuum series, I wanted to express the idea of a river and the idea of movement. I wanted to get involved in the movement of this flowing composition, which is like a dance almost. And so I thought I'd work with my feet as, as well as my hands by, by literally dancing the composition in its initial stages going from one piece to the next. It made sense uh, to, to, to work on the floor and to conceive each section as part of a whole. But afterwards I, I then developed them individually. Water as a substance, it's in, invisible, which I find very liberating because then of course the question is what makes it visible? How can I see it? Why can I see it? I can see it because of light, I can see it because of the light and shadows on the surface of the current, the movement of the water. Water as a subject is, when you're zooming into the running water, it, it becomes a very, it's an abstract subject and it allows me to, I, 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 I have again had this freedom but to, I, I'm it's a way into exploring a line and a, a mark making uh, across the surface. It's uh, as a it's it's running water's charting. It's charting time, and I'm interested in the sense of the each each work is like a window on one little instant and. The, 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 there's this sense that it, it goes beyond, it's going beyond the window. There's a, there's a cycle uh, that we cannot see. And the seen, the unseen, is, is always this, this juxtaposition, the visible, the un invisible, um, absence, presence. Uh, these are all preoccupi preoccupations in my work.